for another half an hour to cook the onions. All right, boys, I think I finally found the holy grail. The holy grail of YouTube's finest cooking videos. I don't think any other cooking YouTuber will be able to keep up with Kay anymore. This is a different spaghetti bolognese. What in the hell does that mean? Well, I don't know. Um, and judging by the thumbnail, I don't think any of us want to know. But that's what we do on this channel. We dig through the worst of the worst on the internet website called YouTube and provide quality content alongside of it. And yeah, whatever, let's just get into this. I'm gonna probably cry. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing a different form of spaghetti bolognese. I think that food in itself is different because I, honestly, I'm not very cultured when it comes to food. What the fuck is that, Kay? I genuinely have no idea what you're even talking about in terms of that food that you just mentioned and I can't even remember because I'm stupid. But as you can see, I've got a few things that I'm going to do. Like I said, it's a different one. So I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to beat some eggs up. Oh god, not with the eggs again. Not again. Please, I can't handle any more egg and parsley. I swear to god, I damn near choked on the last video we made. Please, help. I don't want to go back to the emergency room. I need a bit. And I've got some spaghetti sticks here. Or spaghetti, whatever you want to call them. I will make a petition to change spaghetti noodles to spaghetti sticks just because Kay thinks it's the way to go. I will do this. I will put every cent that I have on my body to make this change. Please donate. Please help me. We need to make Kay's vocabulary the way that we say things. Please, please help me. Well, I'm going to put this egg... Why does that look brown? Like, it, it doesn't even look right. Even the meat when it's fresh from the store doesn't look right in these videos. What is going on there? Like, I know that, like, if you let it sit out for a while, you know, it obviously will brown. Did you let it sit out for, like, hours on end before you form this? I'm concerned, Kay. In the mince meat. And I'm going to mix the mince meat around. Until all the eggs... Is this a popular thing? I, I genuinely don't know. Like, I, I am stupid, but I've never really seen people mix egg and burger. Like, I've heard of putting eggs on top of burger and doing that sort of thing, but I have not seen this until I watched her videos, like, mixing the meat. I, listen, I don't know. I'm d Okay, anyway, let's go. Connect it. And then what I'm going to do is... I've got... I don't know if you can see in this dish... I've got some spaghetti sticks. Oh. oh God, what are you doing? I don't even, I, I mean, I know what happens because I've seen the thumbnail. You know what happens because you've seen the thumbnail. She know what happens because she sees the thumbnail. We all know what happens, but we don't want it to happen. It's like watching a movie for the second time and wanting a different outcome than what you've seen the first time. I do that every time. Spaghetti, whatever you want to call it. Oh. God, I grabbed all that now. I wonder, I didn't have, I wonder I had a thumb left. And what I'm going to do is, I don't even know how to do this. I've seen it on video, but I don't even know how to do it. Grab the steaks. Grab the uh, soggy mincemeat. You're not even going to cook this. But, uh, you know what? It's Kay. Why am I questioning this? And put it round the sticks oh shit sticks are too big oh it's falling apart it didn't, it didn't work oh my god it didn't work this is probably a sign that you should stop k you need to stop this isn't right we both know it you need to stop i can get you the help that you need we have another go give it another good mix yeah, I, I, I don't really think the problem here is that you didn't mix it enough. I think the problem is that this shouldn't be a thing. I think I should have put two eggs in. God, 
even the sounds in this video are disgusting. Everything here makes me just want to hurl. I'm sorry, I love Kay's cooking. Very, very nice person. But, you know, it, what is this? I mean, come on, what is this? Ah, uh, put it in. Put this meat round it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get another three in. Um, and then I'm going to show you the rest of it. Right, uh, as you can see, this is exactly how it is. I don't think I'm supposed to have put the uh, um, uh, min uh, egg in the mincemeat, but... Um... I, it wouldn't surprise me if she's trying to make spaghetti and meatballs and just took spaghetti and meatballs too literally and just... I, I mean, how do you... I feel like this is one of those, like, if you ever seen the Cooking with Jack show, it's like the the Easy Man series, where he just makes everything that is extremely simple to make the most difficult, weirdest way possible. I feel like somebody did this and was like, oh, you know a funny way to make spaghetti and meatball? And then Kay's just like, mm, yeah, that looks good. I'm gonna make this. And then made it, and this this is what we get. This, this is it. I only got to see it when it was like this, so um, what I'm gonna do is... Pour some. I can't. <laughs> There's no way. This can't be real. There's no feasible way. Smarter on as he did it. Uh, I don't want to use it all because I need to save some. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in the oven for about 20 minutes. Cause then when they come out, then I've got to put the onion in it. Wait, so she's going to put this... You do understand that a lot of the spaghetti is just uncovered, right? And if you know uncooked spaghetti, it's extremely hard. It needs to boil. You're gonna put it in the oven and it's going to burn. That's that's all you're going to do. It will get soft around the parts that have tomato sauce on them, but you know, speaking of the fact that 95% of the spaghetti doesn't have anything on it, yeah, it's gonna burn. In. And that's how, how I was shown. And now, as you can see, I've peeled and uh, peeled and top and tail the onions. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut them very thinly. Well, not too thinly. Very thinly. That looks like the thickest part of an onion that you could cut. Taste them. By the way, do not cut like this. Like, the way that she is cutting is extremely dangerous. And I genuinely hope that, like, she has made progress to cut better. Because I am genuinely concerned about the way she cuts. And I don't want her to cut herself. In some videos, she does. And it's pretty sad. And genuinely, I don't want her to hurt herself for views. So, please, Kay, if you watch this, please don't cut yourself. There are proper ways to cut things. And you just put your fingers way too close. That's me being serious for a moment. You're gonna all say you're gonna say now why is she using that knife when she's got a sharp one? Well I've just nearly took my hand off by trying to get through the onion. So well that's the onion part of the onion sliced and when the oven's had twenty minutes or should I say the spaghetti sticks or whatever you call them. It's called spaghetti and meatballs and you are making them in the actual wrong way. I didn't even know there was a wrong way. Before I saw this video, I never knew there was a wrong way that you could possibly make spaghetti and meatballs. I didn't even know, but now I do. Uh, as I have 20 minutes, I'm going to sprinkle the onion on. Gonna sprinkle the onion on and I'm gonna show you what I'm doing. Right, as you well you can't probably can't see, but Oh my god! Oh my god, that is a sloppy mess. That is a ma You know why I failed to mention? She didn't even cook the meat. Like, she didn't cook the meat at all. She put it in the oven. I mean, yeah, you can do that, but I, it, it just doesn't make sense. What is this white substance? What is this? I want to know. Genuinely, you, you literally have Christmas. You have the snow right here. You have the burnt sauce on top of the burnt noodles. In fact, actually, that's not even sauce. That's just burnt noodle. You're just missing the green, and then it would be a Christmas tree. Genuinely. I, oh my god. 
This is how it said to do it. Oh my god! Said that she was cutting thin. That is the thickest slice of onion I have ever seen. Sprinkle them all over. Where did that go? There. Just look at these genuine chunks of onion. Dear God. There's more onion than there is sauce. I know the, the tops look a bit uh, burnt, but you did see me putting the juice on. So it's that's the onion. That is not a bit burnt. That is not a bit burnt. I need to be spread out a bit more. Oh, thank you. I didn't know that were there. <laughs> Bits of running. <laughs> right, and then it says, um, oh, I can't open this. Uh, and it said, that's big. It said, uh, any, um, once again, who is making these recipes? Because I need to find out. That way I can track their location and immediately send it to the FBI. These spices of your choice. So I'm doing... <laughs> That's a lot. <laughs> oh, not the parsley. Oh, memories. Memories. Bad memories. That's a lot of bloody parsley. But anyway, it don't matter. And then it said, put the rest of the stuff... Over the oh my god, if you would have made it this way originally, it would not be burnt like it is now. It wouldn't be good regardless, but at least it wouldn't be burnt if you put all the sauce in it before the first time. Onion, onions, 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 whichever you want me to say. Once again, I would like to legalize onions as the way to pronounce onions. I need a tin of tomatoes for this, like. Uh, yes, I'm going to open a tin of tomatoes as well because it needs to be all covered. Right, so yes, I've got tomatoes. It needs to go all over. Oh my god. Now there's literal chunks of tomato in it. Oh my god. I am I feel like I'm getting physically sick just watching this. And normally that doesn't happen when you look up a YouTube cooking video. So I have to give Kay credit because there are not many YouTube videos out there that can make me feel this way in terms of cooking. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. If she would have just put this in the oven... It would have been much better. I'm not saying I would have eaten it because, oh my god, no, I would never. But it would have been better than whatever this is. So that's going to go back in the oven uh, for another half an hour to cook the onions. And then, but it should be okay. And that is the difference. <sighs> Oh god. Oh my god. You know what? You know, I have nothing left to say at this point. Let's just get to the taste test. Spike ball. Let's do the taste test. If this man lives, send him to the army. There is no man strong enough to survive this in the entire world. If Lee can do this, he can save the world. He has to be the next Iron Man or something. I honestly don't know. Lee is about to face his worst nightmare. Right, so let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> oh, look. The crunching. Oh my god, even the crunching makes me sick. Oh, God, spaghetti should not be like that. And the cave's like, hmm, it's crunchy, is it? Yeah. Uh, I don't know why. Yeah, well. The burnt fine. Probably, yeah. Why don't you try to be that in burnt, then? What burnt? That bit on that side. No, other side. That That's bit. it, yeah. This man has been chewing on this same piece of burnt spaghetti for 15 seconds. My God, send this man to war. He will win against thousands.
Working, huh? With a boom. Huh. Mm, I see off. a lot mm. softer, isn't it? Yeah. It's a little bit harder to put, yeah. That's not that bad, then. Oh my god. Honestly, I can't. Well, guys, that was another case cooking adventure. I honestly have no idea how I made it out of this alive. I feel physically sick. I'm gonna go vomit. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to subscribe and like. Like that video. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.